Macy Smith is co-founder and chief growth officer at USAI. Macy, thanks for joining me. Uh, a lot of the organizations here, the government folks that are, are working on these issues are focused on both speed and security mm -hmm. at the same time. What's that intersection look like? And what's the role of, a, of an organization like yours and industry to help them understand what's possible? Yeah, so historically, um, security has slowed down modernization, right? Um, and we started working on this five or six years ago when we were trying to bring um, speed into the federal government. Started doing work with HHS a while back with AI, GSA, and um, it took forever to get them through the ATO process, which I know you're very, very familiar with, right? So we thought, how in the world do we get these new modern applications out to market as quickly as possible? And we knew that we had to merge security into the process of innovation and modernization. So that's what we at USAI are really focused on. We have actually embedded security into our offering so that all agencies have to do is build innovation at the top and get it out to market fast. So historically, two, three, sometimes five years, depending on the agency and what the application you're building, it would take to get something out to market. Now imagine you can build something in a month to three months. Mm -hmm. How does that stack when uh, in, in a uh, kind of an agile iter continuous iteration process? So with the technology that we have, we have something called an intelligent computing platform. So all you're really building is the application layer. Everything from the cloud all the way up to the management layer, even all the security tools are already built in. So if you're building a new application, which we know the, the uh, administration today is really focused on leveraging COTS, so I think there's less of that you know, long development process, um, but really all you're focused on is, is building the, the application layer, so it doesn't take as long. Mm -hmm. However, interestingly, I think we're gonna see traditional agile development go away very soon mm -hmm. with the emergence of um, using Gen AI to actually build applications. So now we're seeing that you can build an entire application rapidly in hours or sometimes days using Gen AI to do so. And we're actually doing some of that as well. So instead of having a team of developers, right, and infrastructure folks and designers that are doing all of the different parts of Agile to deliver an application, AI can do all of that. And really what you're focused on is, is bringing on prompt engineers who can build those prompts. It's really, really exciting. It sounds like what you described a few moments ago uh, about build, embedding the security mm -hmm. into a lower layer in the process is kind of the 180 degrees opposite of the concept of a continuous ATO. Am I thinking about it the right way or am I not getting So we have embedded security into the platform mm -hmm. that we are providing. So as opposed to, well, you still have to go through the ATO process, oh. but the security is already plugged into the applications if you're leveraging our platform, yeah. right? So CATO allows you to continuously monitor leveraging the security tools that are in the in the environment. So you don't have to necessarily plug into a bunch of different tools associated with different applications. All of the tools are in one environment. So they're inherently deployed to each application. So the application will automatically get CATO if that environment's set up for CATO. How are you going to measure how agencies follow this to drive the kind of speed that they want to, to achieve? Follow meaning like adopt this type of- Yeah, how are you going to measure the way that they are getting the results that they want by, by using this technique? So maybe an unpopular measurement, um, but there will be a reduction of services, right? Um, it's, it's just kind of the facts, but people can be redeployed to more strategic positions. However, we do see that agencies are recognizing that a lot of those services contracts are quite costly and money can truly be saved and redeployed to innovation. So one way we measure success, not just through are the applications more secure, but is how quickly can we reduce those bodies per se that are doing more mundane tasks and reallocate the dollars into more innovation, right? And modernizing that tech stack. And we've been able to see very measurable results pretty quickly, usually within three to six months. Macy, it's great to talk to you today. Thanks Thank for you. your time. Thank you, appreciate it.